Hello, I'm Ed Trinitim and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 with the Together for Victory DLC playing as Australia, not just any Australia, the Australian People's Republic. We have the best flag in the game. Right. We've currently got a bit of a war going, uh, or at least planned to be going. We're currently making our claim against Guangxi Clique, which is totally not how you pronounce that. Uh, however, I'm afraid that Japan will just declare on China, and China will subsume all of its native uh, inhabitants into its faction, and everything will go down the toilet pretty fast. I'm hoping that won't happen, but it probably will. Meanwhile, we're working on indirect support, which is totally the wrong thing to do, but hey-ho. It's actually um, just worse than direct support. I know, I, I talked about it in the last episode, it was like, oh, indirect support, it's cool. Uh, no, direct support has arms against the revolution. Indirect support, arms against the revolution. Direct support also has direct support. So it, it has something extra. Indirect support, you need at least 500 infantry, like, stockpile equipment, whatever. The direct support, you don't need anything, you just to get it. It's better, it does requires less to get it, it's... I don't know why I went indirect support. I know, people pointed that in the last video, thank you very much. I derped when reading. I'm sorry. Japanese build-up on the Chinese border. Following the Marco Polo Bridge incident, Japan has not let down the pressure on the Chinese border. That basically means that war is coming. If we check China, uh, target foreign war goal. So actually, Japan does have a war goal. Right, we got indirect support. We could join Comintern. I'm tempted to hold off. Because what I could do is I could fight against Japan with China by joining the Chinese uh, alliance, which would be pretty cool. Hmm. I mean, I need to put down a few of these and wait. Right, over here. If we're going to get our manpower increase, we need to get one of the manpower laws. Where is it? Um, do, 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 do. There is a manpower thing somewhere here. Ooh! Continuous focus unlocked. Repair speed. Division training time. Suppress subjects. Technology sharing. Construction. That doesn't include uh, civilian factories. No production, air production. Honestly, not much use for us right now. Let's check. Is there anything else? No. Uh, I guess like this one could be okay. Division training time, maybe. Mm. Do they just, like, apply instantly? We'll see. If we join the Chinese faction, we can do technology sharing. Um, do, 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 do. In the meantime... What do we need to... Citizen military forces. I need to complete citizen military forces. I'm having trouble finding it. Citizen military forces. Where would you hide? If you were a citizen military force, where would you be hiding? There we go. Okay, so I guess we'll go down this. What? We need. God damn it, world tension! Okay. I guess we will have either two military factories or one. Followed by a lot of civilian factories. Yeah, I want the one followed by a lot of civilian factories. Japan declare war on Shanxi! Okay, let's see. Their faction should appear. Japan declares war on China. Richard Dixon brings a revolution to uh, Guangxi Clique. There we go, the world tension just jumped. I could have done the other doctrine. I could have waited a day. And there China happened. Um, which means that we are no longer working on a war goal. Yep, no war goal. So that was a bit of a waste. Uh, I don't know if I got the political power refunded. That said, we can go to war economy because the world tension is higher than 15% and we are communist. So, this is going to be awesome. For a start, our civilian factories will stop being used for consumer goods. We'll get a bonus to conversion cost and we'll get a bonus to construction speed for military factories. Yes, please. And, and the People's Republic just joined something. There we go. China's United Front. Can I join your faction? Oh, you're not the leader. You're never going to accept me. That's disappointing. I was hoping that I could join in, but I have to ask China, not the People's Republic of China. Which sadly means that the People's Republic of China is probably not going to win versus Japan. 
And if that's the case, what I might as well do is grab some of China for myself. So... Either that or we attack Japan. But I don't see a possible way that that could really go well for us. We don't have the naval capacity to really manage an invasion. And we'd have to do an invasion from down like here. So many sea zones to go up, we'd be intercepted. I mean, it's different in the early stage of the game, but I think we have to work on a claim against China itself. Which is a shame, because we kind of wasted our time. Uh, we will grab Guangzhou. And then we'll also try and get... Oh, there we go. China's growing. Uh, the Soviet Union on the side. Now, if we're lucky, we'll be able to expand here and block Japan. But I'd like to be able to grab some of the uh, decent land. Early war to grab some stuff. Manpower, land, uh, for military, like, production, uh, and resources. Those are the three things. Resources, infrastructure, not just infrastructure in the game in terms of roads, but actually, like, buildings and stuff, and people. The production, the means of production, and the people to produce the stuff. It's like some sort of industrial triangle. Uh, Rito, you there, join. End of the Spanish Civil War. Oh god, the world tension is climbing massively, 43%. Nash of Spain, of course, have won. Uh, yeah, you need to be added to this so that you'll actually come over here. And I'm actually going to change this, because I know right now we're actually targeting, uh, I think we're targeting Macau, which is uh, technically Portuguese. So I'm going to edit this. And instead, we're going to target... We'll target, like, someone that we can never possibly, like, actually invade. Just throw the AI off balance. And we'll change that before we actually enact it. Now, we desperately need more manpower, but I also really, really, really want to get uh, Russia on side. If I can get Russia on side and I can go to war here, Russia can help out with Japan. That'd be really helpful. Now, this, this beginning of the game, I know I'm going a bit slow when I'm talking about these things, and I've deliberated them on camera. And that's because this is going to make a massive difference to how the rest of the game plays out. If we go against China, or if we go against Japan, it's going to massively knock everything kind of... Very squiffy. I've got an extra military factory now. Uh, I really want to get Russia on the side, so let's join Comintern. And I'm actually going to... Actually, would you just let me join? You would actually let me join the faction, so I'm just going to skip that. There we go. We're now in your faction. This should be bypassed. No. Okay. That is a bit broken. This should be bypassed by us getting that. But oh well, I guess we'll still do that, which is going to cost us like 70 days in political power, etc. But hey-ho, what can I do? You just need to hold them off for a little bit. Come on, China. So that I can fight you. Right, military factories. Um... Beginning to build some support equipment would actually be a really good idea. We need that when we start actually running uh, out support divisions and so on. Not that we have any right now, but we will get some. I need arm experience. In fact, is there like a, a person who will like give me arm experience? No. Uh, ooh, artillery attack and defense. You combine the infantry genius is going to be really helpful. Yeah, I'm totally going to have to get you guys. Um, theorist, theorist, but there's no army theorist, which is a shame. Material designer, aircraft. Uh. None of these are going to be particularly useful to us. I guess I could just keep some of the political power. I don't need these until we actually go to war, so for now I'm just going to sit on it. And we, yeah, we'll need it to change our conscription laws. So that's fine. 
Oh, okay. We need uh, some aluminium. I guess that's for the supplies and stuff. Uh, who can give me aluminium? I guess it's Soviet Union. That's another civilian factory gone, but at least we're losing less of them. For our... Ooh, hello. That's our first fighter. Okay, so we've got the fighter now. How's that engineering going? Mm, still half a year off from getting most of those. We could get the compute machine. We're still doing the first land doctrine ones. Uh, a buff to artillery would be nice. That said, we're not really using artillery just yet. Yeah. The Lewis uh, and Twinch Mortar. Those seem like a pretty solid bet. Especially if we're going to be fighting. God damn it, Japan's doing its landing. I hate this. It's Japan's actually been competent about its first attack. It lands down the full front of China rather than just pushing us all frontage. That's going to be really problematic for us. Yeah, please eliminate this landing. The World Revolution awaits. We join Comintern. Excellent. It, I was in them already. German Reich declares war on Austria? What? <gasps> okay, this is going to be an interesting alternate timeline. The research shit is be lovely. I gotta say that is very, very tempting, but I need the manpower. Just like that right now, I, I gotta do something else. The manpower uh, comes first. So, establish war council. We join Comitern, which is, that fits really well. Um, seeing the country as the natural allies in the spread of the revolution, Rick's addiction, and Joseph Stalin has signed a treaty that sees the Australian People's Republic accede to one of the primary neighbors of Comitern. Show an example of the work of state, blah, blah, blah. Of course we are. We are amazing. We'll get you to exercise for a bit since there's two units that could do with uh, a little bit of a buff. Questioning the motives of China, as I should well do. Oh, damn, that will tension. Mostly Japan. Right, we got our mass assault. Now, because Russia's probably got this, we can ask them to uh, help us out. That said, I don't think we can go for the, like, at the moment, I don't think we can just spend time like, uh, mostly a year doing this. I think we've got to do other things to begin with. And I think that we should probably get that research buff. Because it also leads to decryption. And decryption and encryption are really useful. It's just flat attack bonuses of quite a useful magnitude. That is possibly enough to get one unit of artillery involved in our infantry. I kind of want to get two. Oh, actually, no, no, I can remove, I can add an artillery, and I can remove again, and it only gonna cost me, ah, it's going to cost me 15, okay, um, yeah, I can only replace one, I guess we'll do it, just that they're getting used to it, and we can see how we're doing for equipment. Yeah, we're doing okay for equipment so far. Because I have to aim for about a division width of 20. Because that means that they multiply by 4 to get 80, which is the normal combat width. It's different depending on the terrain, but most combat width is 80. So you can get 4 units in the front line and get the maximum out of it. Whereas at the moment we can only get 3 and then we've got a massive gaping hole. <sighs> and gaping holes are bad. Yeah, Japan is just... Oh, Sudeten crisis. Germany uh, demands the Sudeten border with Czechoslovakia, which is home to a considerable German minority, have intensified recently. 
And that's War of Czechoslovakia. Austria's getting crushed. Czechoslovakia's getting crushed. We bring revolution to China, as we should do. Uh, volunteer corps. Ooh, that's quite useful. And we get a research slot there. So yeah, this is going to be a useful tree to go down. Now, we only have 10 um, units right now. When are we justified? July. We're going to go before we have any more troops. In fact, actually like a week. We have a week. Which means... Convoy escort. I can't land here because I can't base out of here. This is going to be tight. We're going to have to land somewhere near the front line. Okay. We have our justification. Let us... Stop training. Oh, you're so close to actually being, like, leveled up. I'll just keep you training for a little bit longer. There we go. The Fall of Nanjing. Stop training. Get your, uh, like, organization back. That's very important. And then... A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Right, edit. Right, I'm going to change the location you go to. You can do this for free. If you change the starting base, it's completely different. Uh, and then we want to land down this coast. Right, can you actually do that? South China Sea. So we've got to stop them going down the South China Sea. Go for that. It's risky. Execute it. Declare war. Do it. The Stream People's Republic declared war on China. Okay, we're on. Uh, and my allies have asked if they can join the war. I'm going to see how it goes before actually joining the war, though. We need to get there soon. Here we go. And we should, in theory, have control of the port. Right. We'll leave the cavalry back here to expand our front line area. I'm going to be able to hold this. It's very important. Uh, improved infantry equipment. Yeah, I think we're going to need it. Okay, let's try and surround if we can. That's not going to happen. Right. I want you to go down and grab that port. Um, make the front line there. And we're going to have to micromanage this really thoroughly. And in fact, I think we're at the stage where we can get more artillery involved. And you know me, anytime I can get more artillery involved, the better. It's going to cost 10. Okay. Well, we're going to just add an, uh, an artillery for the moment. Yeah, they're attacking us now. Right. If you're not defending, you're not doing it properly. One of you definitely go over here. Get some more support in there. Get some more support in there. No, you're not falling back into my area. Oh, you overrun! 
Sweet. Right, this is working out quite well for us. German Reich took... Yeah, Austria was annexed. Okay. No one slush for you. Uh, continue down the coast, to be honest. And I definitely need that more manpower. In fact, can I start training at another... Yes. Yes, we can. Let me guess. No manpower? Yeah. Right, we'll certainly train one. That'll be a good start. But until then, I've been Andrew Lissian. This is where we're going to end the episode. If you enjoyed, please like. Not subscribe. Please consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below. What do you think is going to happen? I don't know. But until next time, stay shiny.